It was uh, it was well, definitely watching great. two movies in one day is is Don't crazy. Me. I don't know if I've ever done that for. Oh. What's going on, guys? It's the Bobo Ethan crew, and we are here for Barbie Heimer 2023. Uh, we are here to watch Barbie first. There you our, go. We got our Barbie poster right here. It is 12 o'clock. We are in the AMC Montclair. Uh, we got Amir behind the camera. We got Alvin Owen on the set in the back. They already got their seats for the theater. Me, I mean, we got to shoot our quick opening because we're going to tell our grandkids yeah. about Barbie Heimer weekend. So we're all very excited. Um, and just, yeah, it's Barbie. You got the most pink, colorful, bright movie. What are and your thoughts going into Barbie? What do you expect? Go, going into this movie, I'm very excited for it. I think this movie's going to be a certified banger. Warner Brothers had some flops recently. Barbie ain't gonna be that. We got Margot Robbie, we got Ryan, Ryan Gosling, we got Michael Cera. There are so many big people in this movie. I'm just excited to laugh. And I think there's also gonna be a lot of good emotional beats in this movie. So I think this movie's gonna be a big sleep. It's gonna be, it's not even so great. It's gonna pull in a lot of money. He's a certified so. banger. Certified banger. So, Amir, any thoughts before we go into Barbie today? Yeah, I mean, there's not there's not much more that can be said about Barbie. We're just very excited. You know, we didn't get the memo. We weren't wearing yeah. it today. <laughs> But I'm still trying to wear the Ken. We, we went for the gun. We went for the gun look. We were exactly. like, do we go pink or do we go guns? Sun's we out went guns, guns out. We went guns out, baby. So I'm just very excited. I think it's going to be really good. And um, I think it's going to be the perfect movie to start off with with our Barbie Heimer marathon. Yeah. We have this funny movie. And then after the end of the night, we're going to watch Bar uh, Oppenheimer on 6. Yep. But um, I am very excited. Yeah, we're going to get it's some a, food. It's going to be a good Saturday. Yeah, we're going to get some food after this. Maybe some Korean barbecue. We're going to see what's going on. But a whole day for the movies, that's my type of weekend, man. Barbie Hammer 2023. Gonna go hard. See you there, guys. Yeah. World. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. This is of our Barbie Heimer marathon today. And we just finished Barbie. It is uh, 2 o'clock or so. And um, I want to ask Alvin, what are your thoughts on Barbie? We just Go ahead and let us know, dog. Don't cancel me. I think it was a, it was a good movie. But maybe for me, it was just like a little bit overhyped. Mm -hmm. uh, I would give it still like a 7.5 or an 8-ish. Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah, I think I would give it an 8 just based on how, just in, like looking at the whole picture, I think it was really good. Okay. Um, but I think it was just a bit much, much. for me. I mean, yeah, I just overrated. I think you said it was a little, uh, I think it was more, you said a uh, tonal, tonal whiplash. Yeah, tonal whiplash because it takes itself not serious at all, but then the next scene it takes itself a very serious. And then for me, that was just kind of like, it felt like someone on ADHD making the movie and it was like bam, 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 bam. It was very overstimulating. But you, but you like the subject matter. You think it was just yeah. the way that it was shot yeah. can be a little much. Yes, I think, I think uh, everything that Greta Gerwig did was great. But yeah. I, for me, the execution of it could have been just tweaked a little bit more. Okay. But I still really enjoyed it and it was a really great theater experience. I okay, Amir, give yeah, us your quick talk. Uh, I probably liked it a bit more than Alvin. I'm, I'm landing more on like a nine. Same. But that was really good. And my only real issue is I think at the end it, it gets a, it drags a little bit because it's like this really amazing like action sequence. Yeah. Not gonna spoil anything, but it does go on for a bit. But I thought because there's three like song num uh, musical numbers. Pretty much right? like three battle, yeah, three seven really battles. Gosling songs. Yeah. yeah. Brian Gosling was a very good singer. I actually forgot that he could sing. He, he did better in this than La La Land. Yeah, well, I actually thought it was like he was like uh, speak singing. I didn't think he was like singing oh, good. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I thought whenever they did take the movie seriously, though, that was like when I was firing all yeah, cylinders. Yeah, where yeah. There's such I, a emotional core to this movie, uh -huh. and Greta Gerwig knows exactly what she wants to say yeah. for Barbie. And I thought it worked really well. And yeah, um, so, yeah give it a nine. Sometimes for me, it kind of felt like a little bit like an SNL skit, but I don't know if you guys felt the same. But it's just because of the subject matter and like the. Yeah, because I think, Barbie, I think like, that's what Barbie Land yeah. and the real world are supposed to be like... So totally different. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, I thought I thought it really worked. And yeah. then at the end, they kind of find a, a really good resolution yeah. that I thought worked really well. Yeah. But, uh, so overall, you liked it? I liked it. I thought um, I, I for it. the part one of our two-part movie today, I thought that was really, really good. Yeah. Wait, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about it in the next part, but we'll talk about if we would rather watch Barbie first. Or yes, yeah. yes. So here, I'm going to push it and give thoughts. you my thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, as they mentioned, we had just uh, got out, and I gotta say, I am drinking the Barbie Kool-Aid. I fucking love that movie. I was telling them, uh, just the ending itself, it really uh, has a really deep message. And I think the movie just has a lot of, of uh, really deep uh, things to say. And I was just, like, when I was watching it, the ending gave me chills. And I was like, um, 
really liked it. I liked a lot of the, because I mean, everyone was talking about, like, it has a lot to say about, like, just existentialism and, like, crisis and what does it mean about, like, to, to What do you want in life? And what you want in life? And I, and I thought that, for me, all really hit. And discovering who you are. Discovering yeah. who you are and so, yeah, just your fate and, uh, yeah, what you want to do. That all was a fucking banger. Like, they said, the set design, the costumes, this is for everything. Sure getting nominated. For sure nominated. Yeah. I think they said it took, like, maybe 100 to 125 million to make the movie. I feel like... You see that every, every dollar they put in really is, um, yeah, is this, shown on the this screen. movie looks incredible. Like comparing this to like the design of like Flash, that shit is like night and day. Yeah. And that great. cost 300 million. It did. Yeah. No, no, that was 200. Indiana Jones was 300. Oh yeah. 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 So, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. We're seeing blockbuster movies cost so much fucking money. This is like 125. Yeah. And you see it. It's gonna age well because the production design is, is so well yeah. done. Uh, I thought Margot Robbie was a standout. This is. Yeah, Margot Robbie was really good. And, uh, Ryan Gosling for me was a stand-up. A stand-up. Yeah, they were both really good. I'd say for Margot Robbie, this might be like one of her best performances. I liked her a lot in High Tanya. But Harley Quinn was great too. This one, and then she really understood the character and what it meant. And credit card. Um, when did you see Malou? Uh, he was okay. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> for context, Alvin hates Steve. I don't hate him. <laughs> I think. His real his real estate has kind of gone downhill ever since you know Shang Chi's kind of just. No wait, don't post it. You might find it. You might find it. Don't post it. He's gonna attack you. Yeah, don't. He's gonna attack you. The one that I will say, I thought he was gonna be more jacked for this because he was pretty. I thought he looked good. I'm not gonna. He looked good. He's like calisthenic fit. Yeah. In Shang Chi, he looked really good. I think. I thought he looked better here. Shang Chi looked really good in Shang Chi. That guy put a lot of work into Shang Chi. So that that he still looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone looks good, but um. Yeah. Yeah. So are you guys excited for Oppenheimer? I am a three hour movie excited. today. I'm, I'm very oh, excited. Don't even remind me of three hours. Three yeah. hours. We're going to end at 10 p.m. And also, you said no trailers, right? Hopefully. No Possibly. Trailers. Yeah, I think it depends on the theater. So we had to get there on I time. Will, I will say, I think for the summer of movies, this weekend is uh, for sure just going to be a major standout. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just to get two two great movies back to back, I am so excited. And last it. week was Mission Impossible. We didn't watch Mission Impossible yeah. yet, but I, yeah. I'm so. I'm still planning on watching it sometime. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, we're getting really good movies this summer so far. Yeah, I'm Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that movie's gonna go hard. It's gonna be nine out of ten. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be a Spider Verse. Yeah, it was good. I'm, I'm excited to see Oppenheimer. The last thing I'll say is, uh, like I said, I'm drinking the Kool Aid. I really loved, really loved this movie. It was awesome. If you haven't had a chance to see it, go and check it out. I think you're gonna get a lot of good laughs and also just a lot of deep uh, feeling. Uh, like, just gets you in the feels, man. It's great. Yep, and uh, Owen and Lissette both really loved it. So it's uh, all of us all around mostly liked it. Give it a nine. And um, we're just uh, looking forward to Oppenheimer tonight. Yeah. See you guys Have later. You. See you guys. What's going on, Andrew? What's going on, dude? What's going on, dude? We just got out of Frank and Sons. It is about 6 o'clock. It's like 5.40. Just trying to stop by with Alvin and Owen. And I think Owen bought something. I didn't buy anything. Yeah, I just but, bought Rama a little going away gift. Yeah. And man, are we now feeling it. It's, uh, yeah, we said 6. The movie started at 6.30. And damn. We went to Lazy Dog after Barbie. The yeah. food was good. Food was good, the movie was great. And we're just walking around, which is nice. But it's such a hot day today. Yeah, it's cooling off a little bit, which is nice. Yeah, it's cooling off now, but I'm like, damn. We're really going into a three hour movie right now. Yeah, but so. I'm excited. I think I really loved Barbie, so I don't know if this movie can stick the landing like Barbie did, but who knows? Maybe it's Chris Renolin. Yeah, Nolan. it's good, because Barbie was legit. I'm gonna say, I think believe, Barbie. Believe yeah, Barbie was like my second favorite movie of summer. It was John Wick and then this. I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was really good. So, uh, what am I expecting going to Oppenheimer? Um, I'm expecting it to be a really good performance from uh, Killian Murphy. Murphy. I agree. Yeah. I don't know what else to expect. I don't know how much they're going to go into the history of World War II. But um, that's what I'm looking forward to, seeing Killian Murphy and our boy Albert Einstein. Yeah. Alvin had some pretty good impressions, but uh, what do you think, Omid? You're good? Yeah. So as I told, me and Alvin are both very excited for Albert E. That we said once he comes on the screen, we're both gonna clap and applaud, because that is like that is the Avengers Assemble moment. So when you go to him, that is something I'm very excited for. But overall, uh, I'm just uh, curious. I think Chris Nolan, you never really bet against him. I know some people said Tenet wasn't good. I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, overall, I think Chris Nolan is always a hit. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't think it's gonna be as good as Barbie. I really. Personally, I love Barbie. Yeah, Barbie's Barbie's a really high bar to beat. Yeah, I like that. But um, yeah. but yeah, it was yeah. cool. And we're just gonna get some boba and then head over to Oppenheimer, guys. Yep. See ya. See ya. As One, filming, always just just go. Play. Just go. Just play. Are we on? Are you guys ready? Can I count down? Yeah. 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 All right. Three, two. Any last minute quips or anything? Any <laughs> last minute complaints? Yeah, go. Yeah, go. All right. Three, 
two, one, go. What's going on guys? It is the What Would You Think crew and we are back at the end of our Barbieheimer experience. Yep. We're here at Pointe Hills Mall and we just came out of Oppenheimer. It is about 10 p.m. 10, 12. Yep. Yeah. 10, 12. And I gotta it's been a say, long day. It's been a long day, but we, end that, we ended the night in a bang, bro. Literally, this movie was a fucking banger. Yeah, go, yeah so we did finish. We just got out of Oppenheimer, three hour movie. And I have to say, Damn, was that a that was a really really good movie? Yeah. Uh, Cause I mean, if you've seen our other reviews, you know that I've been having issues with like movies being like too long. But it's, this uh, one unnecessarily too long. Yeah. This one does not overstay its welcome. And man, does Killian Murphy really knock it out of the park? Amen. He yeah. does. He does. Cause yeah. I've always we've always liked him in all of his other Nolan movies, Inception, the Dark Knight trilogy. So for this to have him get a whole movie just where you can see all of his acting muscles, yeah. fucking good. So this well, is the second good. movie we saw in, in one day. Yep. How do you feel? Like, Cause I know when I went in, I was exhausted. exhausted. Like we stopped by uh, Sunrise Studios to get uh, like some boba. Yeah. And uh, I had to chug that. Cause we had to make sure. But we did not pee. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cause we knew we could not go to the, rest go to the restroom while the movie started. Yeah. So um, when I went in going into Oppenheimer, I thought I was pretty exhausted. I was like, I think I'm going to fall asleep. Like no joke, literally in like the first half hour or so. Yeah, like, I don't slow. know if Alvin ever looked at me. I was like, <laughs> yeah, jeez. Yeah. It was uh, it was well, definitely watching great. two movies in one day is is Daunting. crazy. I don't know if I've ever done that for. Oh, I guess when we used to move. Yeah, like, we used to we're younger. Kids. We used to. We're kids. younger, but like oh, for this like oh, spending almost five hours in a movie theater day. Mm -hmm. Very fun with awesome friends. Yeah, we have Alvin in the back. Mm -hmm. Owen just yeah. left. Owen just left. But um, yeah, I think it was just like the experience itself. Like Alvin was making a joke. He's gonna let his grandchildren know about yeah. Barbieheimer weekend. Seriously, no, and, literally, I printed yeah. out both my tickets. Yeah. This was a day I will never forget, no matter how long it was. Yeah. But it was so eventful, and it's something that will always stay with me because I watched it with like my childhood friends yeah. who yeah. we have a passion for movies. Yeah. And these are just two mo these are two great movies, and like I can't even complain. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And honestly, if you guys haven't had a chance to see either of them this week. I think definitely go out of your way next weekend and, and check out Barbie and Oppenheimer. Yeah. Because I do think you're going to... There's something to enjoy in both of those movies. They both... You don't have to double feature yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, we no. thought it was fun. Yeah. They, they both... Surprisingly have very deep messages and that, that's why I loved them. I, yeah. I give them both like in the nine range. Maybe Oppenheimer's a little bit higher. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just sleep on it. But Alvin, what do you, go on and let me know yeah. what you thought, man. Yeah. I want to know what Alvin thinks. So were you exhausted getting into the second movie for the day? Yeah. So we went around Frank's for a bit and I had a bit of a headache, but you, like you said, we got boba and then that really helped me. Uh, just give me energy for this three hour epic. I would, yeah, yeah. I would say it's an epic. Yeah, for sure. Um, and Christopher Nolan. Christopher Don't Nolan. bet against him, no, I guess. Literally, literally, Christopher Nolan does it again. Like, I was talking to them about it. It's like Christopher Nolan movies are not just really movies or like films, but I think they're really big events. Yeah, it's like not only an event, but I think it's just a real piece of art. Like every everyone that's working on the movie is firing all yeah, cylinders. Because like we, we said to Alvin before this movie is uh this is probably this is our first um Nolan movie in theaters again since The Dark Knight Rises because mm -hmm. we didn't check out Interstellar in theaters. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't watch Dunkirk. Dunkirk. And I didn't see and Tenet. I haven't even seen Tenet yet. Yeah. And I heard so, that one was not great, but yeah, I think for this, great. this might be uh this, one of this is Christopher like Nolan's top ten. Opus. I yeah. think it's top three Nolan films I've seen. It's Inception, Dunkirk, Oppenheimer, Dark Knight. Oh, you don't think, I think Dunkirk, I think uh, I would argue that Dark Knight, or no, Dark Knight's probably number one. Huh? Man. Uh, Dark Knight's yeah. your number one. I think for me, when I saw Inter or, uh, Inception, it just completely blew my mind, and mm -hmm. uh, just the action combined with just the storytelling was really, really great. You nice. Come in a little bit because there's a car. But um, what else can I say? I think this movie is like it's cliche to say, but it's like I think it's an experience because you have to see the whole encompassing thing. IMAX and we saw IMAX and Dolby. And oh I would my definitely say that sound. makes an experience. It wasn't Dolby, was it? It wasn't Dolby, but yeah. IMAX oh, sound yeah. was just in, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. And this wasn't even real IMAX, this was live yeah, IMAX. Yeah. Just yeah, like the speakers think, itself. Yeah. yeah. One thing I thought was like really cool is um that not like when I went into the movie I didn't expect how many like A list actors were gonna be yeah, in this yeah. movie. Yeah. And like even some of them don't even have lines. Yeah. yeah. But it really just makes it feel that much more epic. Like yeah. man, they know the name of Nolan and all these other yeah. actors yeah. just because of that's his name and, and the fact the that movie. these actors are willing to do it with no lines just yeah. to have Does it be a there? Nolan picture. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Right? Yep. It's crazy. And like I'm trying to think of I really don't have anything bad to say about this how movie. How was uh how's Einstein? Did uh oh. was that a <laughs> epic mic drop moment for oh. you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was dope. Like I don't. Really he didn't say the line you wanted, unfortunately. He didn't say it, but like. What was I the think, line? 
E equals MC squared. <laughs> I was, I was just... Cast Alvin in the Young Einstein movie, bro. Yeah, but just seeing all these geniuses talk about a thing that I can't even fathom. Like, it's like, I don't know what they're talking about, but I was enthralled from second one mm -hmm. shot one of the movie. And it really worked. It really, yes. really worked. I think the, you, like I said, you really need to experience it because it just, I couldn't tell you a single story beat about the movie. Like, I can't really explain the story to you. It's just something you have to be there for. Well, I think if you don't know what the story is, it's just chronicling the life Coming of um, J. Robert uh, Oppenheimer as yeah. they are pretty much creating the, uh, the atomic bomb. Yeah, yeah. Which, that's pretty much it. And then, yeah. but the fact that there's just so much in it is crazy. Like, the stories behind it and just the real life implications of doing this. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I would just, I, I'm. This is like the second movie this year. I will say this. I need to watch this movie again. In yeah. theaters or just in on theaters? In theaters, in legit IMAX, seventy millimeter film, with proper sound in the, you know, good seating. Yeah, it's perfection. Cause, that's interesting because I actually, I, I want to watch Barbie again in theaters. I don't know if I would watch this again. Because I mean, the movie didn't feel long, but I don't know. I guess I have more of an urge to rewatch Barbie because just that one. Was yeah, I think I'm, I'm more similar to that. Yeah, because maybe for me, I think Barbie was such a surprise hit. Like, when I go into a cruiser normally, I'm always expecting bangers. Yeah, yeah. So for this, I'm like, all right, he, he succeeded and he went above and beyond. But for Barbie, I'm like, I did not expect it to, it to be anywhere near that good. And it was, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess yeah. this is just kind of like an un encompassing thing about the whole day. Yeah. Barbie was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. 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 So what do you guys give uh, Oppenheimer? What do you guys give it out of 10? 9.5. This is, I don't give, based off your score. I don't give um, 10s just in general, but this is the closest movie this year across, or next to Across the Spider-Verse getting like a really high score. Yeah. I would give it a nine, or sorry, 4.25. Nice, I mean. It's good, it. cause I, don't know, I know I gave John Wick an S. Cause I think that just that 4. was- 4.75, sorry, 4.75. 4.75. So, so I gave John Wick an S, uh, and this is really tough. I'm guessing I want to say, I'm between like A and A plus. I don't know if it's, it's I don't know if it's quite an S. I mean, it's better than John. I don't know, it's tough. I'm gonna say A plus. I think just nice. the way it was shot, the acting, the writing, everything was so good. Uh, sure, yeah, I'll just give my uh, final score before we sign off yeah. on this. Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer weekend. Yeah. Barbenheimer. Um, Barbenheimer, sorry, my bad. Barbenheimer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give Barbie, uh, or Oppenheimer, I give it a nine. I think mm -hmm. it was very good. Um, I don't think you're gonna, uh, the length might feel harder if you're at home, or maybe if you're not even watching. I it. did think that. I did yeah. think at home. It yeah, it's gonna be a little be harder. Tough. You're yeah. gonna be on your phone, but yeah, then yeah. It, for it, sure. It doesn't take it away. Yeah. That's why you need to so. not need to, but I would highly recommend watching it in theaters. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I, I think it was um, a very good ride, and if uh, Killian Murphy wasn't on your radar before, I think he should, he should have be been. on yeah. there now. He should have been. Yeah. And I think there's uh, definitely gonna be a lot of Oscar love for this for movie. Sure. Yeah. I'm telling you, Alvin, I think. Uh, you know, for sure gonna be nominated for best actor. I think he'll win best actor. Who's gonna get nominated? Best director, best movie, best screenplay. Emily Blunt, maybe supporting actress. She was good. Really good at, she was fantastic. Uh, she at was the end, when she band. tricked them. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. that was really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just this uh, this movie was really just a roller coaster. Like yeah. as cliche as it sounds, like yeah. you really live through uh, G. Robert Oppenheimer's yeah, life. Yeah, I feel like I can call him the, like he's a homie. I feel like I lived yeah. my life watching this movie. Yeah. yeah, Bobby, little Bobby O. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. But um, um, I call him little Bobby, yeah. but. Uh, yeah, he's got that really, dog in him though. He does he have that dog, dog in him. Yeah. He, he, does. he was in a movie where he got to be with Florence Pugh, Emily Blunt, and then one more girl. So yeah. Like, that we Killer know. Murphy, yeah. yeah. That we know of. Yeah. yeah. Killer yeah. Murphy got that dog in him, man. I agree. Yeah, but um, I think this is going to be us signing off for our Barbenheimer weekend. We were mm -hmm. happy to kind of vlog and make this memory mm -hmm. everlasting. I yeah. agree. I mean, this is a very rare occasion that a meme actually becomes. Comes in fruition. It like, propelled this both these movies yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're both doing I think super well box office wise. I think Barbie and deservedly, sure. yeah. Yeah. yeah, deservedly. Yeah. Cause there's times like uh, movies that make a lot of money. It's like oh, the quality isn't there for both these. Mm -hmm. yeah. Quality and love are both there, and yeah. you fucking see that shit. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. But um, yeah, yeah I think uh, it was just uh, a very chill Friday, uh, Saturday, like Alvin said, yeah. with some really good friends. And yeah. um, this is gonna be us signing off. It's me, Amir. It's me, Omid. I'm Alvin. Have a good one, guys. See yeah. you next time. Bye.